the people that y'all see, the people that y'all ex want to expose, that y'all call the Illuminati, the people that y'all think run the world, they ain't here. They are in that realm that you call death. The people that you call Illuminati, the people that you say that run the world, they're not the bankers. They don't even exist in this earth realm or this universe. They are in the realm that you call death. They are controlling you from a laboratory that you call death. They are controlling you from a laboratory that you call death. When we analyze death, we are analyzing a graduation. The only thing that's missing from the person that's in the coffin is the graduation gear, the robe, and the, you know, that's the only thing that's missing. They go into another classroom. This classroom that we call Earth is tainted. The students of this realm that it has contracts with the death realm that reports back to them in certain space stations, they have become rebellious because they know that the people in the death realm can't come here. So they, have con they connect an umbilical cord to, this, to a governmental system here to run the governments here. That's what's going on. I'm only giving you the downloads that I'm receiving right now. The sky, <laughs> the sky, the sky is another world. You talk about a new world, but the new world that you talk about is a new world where people bow their way into that you call celebrities. This new world will exist. The city workers that you see out here at three in the morning, when have you ever known city workers to be working that fucking late? These people that you see out here at night, the city trucks and stuff, they build an elevator shafts in the ground. And when they go and get these jobs, they make contracts to not speak about the shit that they build in. These shafts are connected to space stations. These shafts that these city workers in these certain cities are building is connected to space stations. And y'all just pass them at night and see the cones and all that shit and just think they're doing general, basic city work. It's not. There's another world under here that we call the sky. The sky is under your feet. When you go up, you're going down. When you go down, you're going up. The planet is under your feet. The teachers that's out here today that's teaching y'all won't teach you about death. They the same way as, remember when we first came out of church, or even some of us that were still in the church, we said that, why the preacher don't go into revelations and speak about revelations? Same thing for the conscious community. Why they don't speak about death and what death is? Why don't these conscious niggas tell you what death is? Because they don't know what the fuck death is. They are regurgitating shit that was given to teachers by people who wanted them oppressed. That's why. I'm just coming to vent because a lot of people see the teaching part of me and a lot of people don't get to see the relaxing part of me. When I'm relaxed, I can tap into other realms, dimensions, my wants, my personal abilities, and share certain things with people that I've had going on in my life. Um, today I was talking about, I had a um, convention, um, a book convention, with certain authors, beginners. And um, I shared about how I got a phone call from Warner Brothers. And they wanted me to, somebody was an intern at Warner Brothers in California and they passed a message on and a book that they bought, the reincarnated seven, they passed it on to the person at Warner Brothers. And they asked me, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Thank you. So, the intern passed my information on to the person at Warner Brothers. And what happened was they contacted me. And he said that he wanted the guy at Warner Brothers said he wanted me to come over and share some of my scripts and he would make an offer to me that I couldn't refuse. And what I said to him was, don't you know that our DNA is our memory? The script, everything that we write comes from 
the DNA in, them, in us. Don't you know that we have people living in our DNA that is reacting off of the memory and the things that we experience here in this third dimension. There is other civilizations. So for the mere fact that you want me to come there so that I can give you my script, you are telling me that you want my DNA. I don't feel comfortable with that. I told him that I will write scripts. You can transfer money to me and I transfer the script. But physically, I won't come there. Because you will offer me something to drink. I might accidentally say yes and drink it and I can't move. And now I'm in a sunken place. I won't do that. I can't sell myself out for money. I'd rather do it myself. So I was sharing in this meeting that even if I don't see a million, I'd like to see a hundred thousand. And with that hundred thousand, I will buy a mansion with thrones all in this mansion where the people who have that third eye can come and express their self. Single mothers can come and be able to relieve their self, be happy for 30 days. 30 days could be a lifetime. Just to be happy. To, to get to really see the true self, their true self, who they really are. You get what I'm saying? Because we go beyond this. We go beyond the things that we see. We have many eyes in us that can see things that we can't see. Do you get what I'm saying? So I've had contracts that I could have signed to become a millionaire. I just refuse to do it. I have many phone calls. But I know that for me to do that, I'm the type of person that look at the long run. For me to have done that was to sell my son. Because I know once they had me, they had the energy of my son. I love my son and I would never do anything like that. So anything that I make or accumulate, I'd rather do it on my own. You get what I'm saying? So this is the old sacred fool that you can actually see beyond this physical realm. My moral value, the decisions that I make, this is spiritual. I make it based upon a spiritual perception. I don't make it based upon an emotional perception. Because when you think with emotion, you are willing to sell yourself for something that is not in front of you. It is not there. But you may say it's there, but the reason why you think it's there is because they put the image in front of you and condition you with the image. And once you get that image, it ain't worth shit. It ain't worth anything. When you are in any type of game, you have to be strong. You have to be willing to sacrifice certain things to keep it real with yourself. Because remember that if you are a teacher or you claim to be a teacher, your energy rubs off on the people who look up to you. And I ask that nobody look up to me. But I know that there are people who follow me, so therefore I have to keep myself in proper perspective when it comes to the decisions that I make with those personal things or those demons who come and ask me, I got to offer that. Come and sign this. We'll give you 1.3 million. We'll give you 1.5 million. I was sending prodigy in my books. A lot of people don't know that. I don't tell a lot of stuff. But I was sending prodigy in my books. You know what I'm saying? I, I send other people my books. But it's not, I, I don't try to put myself on the pedestal and say, okay, I know this person or I know that person. Because it's not for me to. So we have a soul that graduated. We see it as somebody dying. But I help somebody to graduate. Think about what I'm saying. Death is a graduation to another classroom. Why do you want to stay in first grade? Don't you know that there are other schools that exist in the mind beyond the death frequency that they taught you? I'll never sell my fucking self from the bottom of my fucking heart. If you ever hear that Ose is doing, has went to meet with any director or actor or anybody, it's not me. I'll never sell my fucking soul. I promise you this shit. I'll never sell my fucking soul. I ain't scared of death. Why? Because it don't exist to me. Somebody taught me that death exists. The birds don't know that death exists. The animals don't know that death exists. 
So for the mere fact that they don't know this, they are in alignment with the universal laws. They don't have funerals. They can go to other planes of existence. They can see other planes of existence because they don't have nothing blocking them that's called death. They see shit that we can't see. There's other realms that exist that we can't see. The reason why we can't see them is because the brain is so heavy. For the mere fact that things in nature don't learn shows their ability to be able to see things that we can't. See, we know too fucking much. And when you know too much, your spiritual body produces mold. You become sick. You become sick and we become sick people. So remember, never, I don't care what you do to all the youth, this message is to the youth who don't have a father present because I'm your father. Whether you like it or not, I'm your spiritual father. And I love all of you. And I wish that I could do everything for every child out here. Because the same way I love, the same way I love my son, the same way I love anybody else's child. This message is to you. Don't you ever sell yourself for something that looks good, sound good, feel good. It's not worth where you're going to be leaving from and going to from here. It's not worth that. You have a bigger place in your mind that exists that one day you will see it. You'll be able to see that with your third eye. You can't see that place with your two physical eyes. Never sell yourself. Sure. For some petty ass shit here. Until you teachers out here. I'm coming. Don't think I'm quiet, but I'm coming. When the ancestors said to go, I'm coming for your asses. I'm coming for you. And y'all can think I'm crazy all you fucking want. But I'm telling you right now. When I unleash that fifth dimensional energy, it's going to be unstoppable. I'm just waiting. See, I play chess. I don't think one or two steps ahead of time. I think 20 steps ahead of time. I see what's going on. I hear what's going on. Not through this realm. My real world is close to the dream world. So what's, so what's protecting me? What's giving me information? You have a heart attack to see it with your two eyes, your two physical eyes. Never sell yourself for nothing. This money that they print comes from the trees that's in nature. So that means that you're rich just by connecting yourself back to nature. This is the root of the things that you worship. They are using nature to put you under a spell for things that they process from nature. Your money is all around you. Start building your spiritual account by keeping it real with yourself. Because you keep it real with yourself, you keep it real with your people. Black Science TV 111, 0 seconds for I'm out. This is my strategy to the most high Who created all life on earth Like the bird that flies This is my song to the most high Who created all life on earth Like the bird that flies